Hi there, I've been asked to do a quick video on some basic stamping techniques. I'll start off first with the ink pads and the paper that I use. I colour mainly with alcohol inks, so I use a dye-based ink pad and my preference is Memento. When I do colour with watercolours, I use a permanent ink pad. You can use um, stays on, um, I think there's archival as well. I tend to use VersaFine, I prefer it, I get a perfect impression each time and it cleans up easily with wet wipes so for me perfect, quick, easy. When you're stamping um, whatever you're colouring with will lead the way that for the paper that you're going to use. So if you're colouring with alcohol markers you're going to need some sort of smooth um, cardstock to stamp onto. I use either Nina or I use the ultra, the super smooth digi stamping card that Lily the Valley sell. Um, when I'm using watercolors, I stamp onto a very smooth hot pressed watercolor paper so that I get a perfect impression when I stamp. Um, when you get your stamps from Lily the Valley, you get them in these little in these little poly pockets. They are grey rubber, untrimmed and unmounted. Um, you can stamp just by trimming around them and applying some sort of adhesive and stamping or you can use a foam mount which is what I use by preference. Um, I've tried a few of them and easy mount is definitely the best one that I've found. Um, it doesn't lose its cling no matter how long you've had your your stamp mounted. When I am, um, if I don't use the mount, I would then you would then have to use some sort of foam mat to stamp onto. I use this one by Inka Dingadoo. It's very thin. It's only about an eighth of an inch thick, um, but it's some sort of very high density rubber. So you don't need to use one of the the thicker stamp pads. From days gone by. If you don't have one of these you can use a mouse mat. Um, that should work fairly well. I haven't tried it but I believe it does work well. The first thing you would need to do is trim around your rubber regardless of whether you mounting it or not. Um, I use these Tim Holtz scissors by Tonic. They are perfect for cutting through um, rubber when you mount it onto um, onto the the easy mount on, onto the foam. Try and trim as close to the image as you can and cut in, sh in straight strokes. Don't try and cut around because you can end up undercutting which will you can cut away um, under the edge of the stamp and that when you come to stamp you won't get a, a very clear image so you're best off using short straight cuts to trim it and just trim it all the way around. And the snoring in the background I'm afraid is my doggies. Right, so I've trimmed it off fairly close um, and then you would need to use some sort of adhesive to adhere it either to an acrylic block or to one of these rocker blocks. It's entirely up to you which you use. I prefer to use a, a, a mount. I can position it better, I can hold it better, um, it's just what I'm used to. I do have problems with my hands, with feelings in my hand, with with uh, lack of feeling in my hands. I find these very difficult to use, and yet people with dexterity problems find they get a better impression. It's it's basically down to you what you prefer. You can use either Crafters Companion Stick and Spray or some sort of repositionable spray, or you can use um, just an ordinary glue stick, Prit glue, or something like that. When I if you do use the repositionable spray, I find it easier to I find it easy for storage 
I've just laminated some white card and this pops on then sticks in there and it goes back and stores in this little pocket because um, this is how I store my stamps is in their pockets whether they're mounted or not if you if you want to mount your stamp you've got the very very sticky side and that's the side that you would apply the back of the stamp to um, and as you'll see it really is sticky it sticks to everything pop it down and then again using these tonic scissors which are the best things since last bread um, again I'm just using straight cuts the glue on this is really really sticky and with a lot of scissors they clog up now although the, the glue sticks to these to these blades it doesn't interfere with the cutting at all it just cuts it perfect and then when you come to stamp it just peel the backing off pop it on your mount and you're good to go when you're using rocker blocks, um, the whole idea of the rocker blocks is that there's a little ridge here that is should be the same thickness as your stump. So when you pop this on um, and you ink up, it won't go onto the edges of the stump. It will just be you'll just ink up your raised. E e even if your ink does catch around the edges. It shouldn't transfer onto your paper. When you're using rocker blocks, you don't need to use a, a foam pad because the rocker block is curved. Now, I'm not too good at using them, so I'll give it a try. Pop it down at an angle, roll it, and lift it up and there's your, your stamped image. The other way of doing it is to put your foam mat underneath apply your and of course I would use, I oh know it fits on that way apply your rubber that is pre-stuck to your mount Pop it down. You do have to give a bit more pressure when you're using these, the acrylic mounts as opposed to the rocker blocks. And all being well, we should get a good image. So there's the two. And if, like me, you prefer to use uh, it mounted onto easy mount, it's the same thing again. Ink it up. You don't have to use a foam pad if you've got the easy mount because your foam, instead of being between the paper and the surface you're working on, you've got the foam between the rubber and the mount. So that's with the foam pad. I've just caught a bit of ink on the end there. And that's without.